Hello and welcome back. Philip here with another uh, Mech Warrior online video. I've noticed in the last several months that there are lots of new players coming in. Most of them are marked out with a little green C, just like this blue one is here. Uh, they are cadets. The cadet bonus is what's given to all new players who join. Your first 25 matches, they give you a large lump sum of money. Uh, it is best to go ahead and play those 25 matches using the different uh, trial mechs that you can get. And what I'm going to be doing in this video is talking about the absolute basics of Mech Warrior Online. So I'm going to take one of the medium mechs, probably this crab here, and go into the testing grounds so I can talk about uh, movement, the HUD, basic controls, just the absolute basic things to help new players. So in the upper right or upper left corner you have your Lance info. In the upper right you will actually have target, target okay. info when you have a target and the info comes in. There we go. So you can see that that's a Cataphract 1X. You can see what weapons he has and the fact that he is completely untouched. Uh, bottom left, you have your information, which shows you how your armor is doing. Uh, the left arm on this mech apparently has absolutely no armor, which is interesting. Uh, in the bottom center, you have your mini-map. Very important thing to keep track of because it'll show you where enemies are, where your allies are, and what's going on. Obviously, somebody has to have the enemy targeted or in the line of sight, in their line of sight for you to be able to see it on the mini-map. Uh, right to the left of the map over here, you have your speed. This thing is capable of 90.7 kph, pretty fast little mech. Uh, in between the speed and the mini map, if you have jump jets, there will be a little bar there. That's your jump jets. This allows you to obviously gain air. This mech doesn't have them though. Uh, on the right hand side of the map here, you have your heat. That's something I'll cover in another video. New target acquired. Because this one's mostly just about moving and basic controls and such in the HUD. Uh, top center, you have the timer uh, in training grounds. It just counts up and tells you how long you've been in here. Uh, matches have a 15 minute timer, if I remember correctly. Uh, and here you have your compass, which as you see, you've got two arrows here. The bottom arrow is where your legs are facing. The top arrow is where your torso is facing. As your torso and legs move independent of one another, I can be looking at him and walking off towards D2 on the map there, Delta 2. Uh, you can also see on the mini map there is a cone. That's your cone of vision for your torso. And the line is where your legs are heading. Uh, if you haven't remapped it like I did, you can hit F to center your torso onto your legs. Um, I have remapped that one to my uh, first consumable slot though for ease of access, usually for cool shots or UAVs. Uh, you can also center, okay so F centers your legs to your torso, I d had that backwards, C centers your torso to your legs. That one I keep mapped up it's useful when I want to be lazy. Um, 
I turn throttle decay off so I can let go of the button and be able to use number buttons if I need to to be able to fire weapon groups for when I have more than four because I only have a four button mouse. It doesn't happen often, but it, it's useful. Uh, X is a dead stop. So when you're when you have throttle decay turned off, that is an important button to remember, X. Uh, if you do have throttle decay, then pretty much it's always going to return to zero when you're not holding W. I don't like that, though, because I run a lot of light mechs, and there's a very important rule with light mechs. Never stop, never slow down. That's most of your armor with a light. Let's see. Uh, Z is your zoom control. You can zoom in twice. The third time will reset you. Um, if you have a mouse wheel, obviously, you can click the mouse wheel to do zoom as well. I prefer using Z myself. Let's see here. Uh, Always bear in mind where your legs are, how far you're moving, all of these basic things, of course. And let's see, what else can I cover in this particular video? So with the weapons, they'll show you a number for range. For lasers and ballistics, that is their effective range where they're doing their maximum damage. Uh, multiply that by two to be able to figure out how far out they can fire at max range, though they will be doing reduced damage at max range. So let's see here, 365 is my effective range. Okay. Always pay attention to what's behind you when reversing. So right here, I'm outside of the effective range, but I'm still in range, which allowed me to still be able to core that off, get an ammo dis uh, explosion, and kill him off. Never expect mechs to be standing still like that. Only idiots stand still like that. <laughs> and. NPC battle mechs with no mech or no pilot really in it. Let's see. So 725 would be somewhere around the absolute max range. And I don't think I can get that from this guy from this angle. Nope. So let's just go ahead and run up here. I almost always go into this testing ground because when I'm going into testing grounds, I'm just typically testing uh, heat and efficiency on dropping mechs. So having uh, happening to know exactly where everybody is is useful for that. So let's run way over here and see if I can get more than 725. Acquired. Well, there is the awesome. Yeah, 752 is outside of the range, no damage. Move into 685, and there's going to be a little bit of damage, nowhere near the full damage potential of the large pulse lasers. Uh, on the center of the HUD, you'll see little six boxes that shows you what weapon groups you have and which ones are fired and ready to fire. If it's the beige color here, then they're ready to fire. Red means it has fired. And as they come back up, they're good to go again. Changes back its colors. The circle is your arms. So I've got Target two lasers on the arms here and one on the torso. 
which is the crosshair. I do like to keep my arms free for any mechs that have arm-mounted weapons. But if you don't have arm-mounted weapons, you can hit shift. That'll toggle arm lock, which locks your arms in and allows your torso to move faster because it doesn't have the drag of the arms going and then the torso, which slows it down. Uh, each mech does, of course, also have its own uh, reaction speeds on the torso and everything. There are skills you can buy up on your mech to speed that up within the mobility tree, which is something I'll cover in another video. Die already. I don't really like large three pulse laser builds myself because they're very much made for poke and I'm not much for poke. I prefer to either be missling or brawling. Which means one large pulse laser isn't bad. I've got a nice battle master with six medium pulse laser. One large works out great. In any case, now I'm starting to ramble and I do believe I have covered everything I wanted to cover in this particular video. Target acquired. And I will cover a few more advanced things in another video that I'll probably start working on recording right after this one. So, I will see you in the next video.